What's up everyone, it's the quintessential home barista aka Spromethius, and I'm doing a damn fine tutorial on milk steaming. So let's dive in. Step 1 is placement and depth. So the placement of the steam wand, you want to have it just off center and you want the steam wand tip to just be barely under the surface of the milk. Too deep, you're going to just going to heat the milk and not add any air. Too high up, you're going to add too much air. As you start to turn it on, you'll notice a ripping or tearing sound. That's the sound of air being introduced to your milk. Once you hear enough air get introduced, you'll kind of get the feel for that over time. You want to lift your pitcher up a little bit just to bury the steam wand tip and get the whirlpool going. That introduces all the bubbles into the milk and gets a nice even mix. Temperature wise, you don't want to be too hot. Uh, make sure that if it's too hot to hold, you're turning the steam wand off. And then step four is purge and wipe. Of course, you want to do that before and after. Uh, you want to clean off any excess milk and get any out of the steam wand as that can get up inside your uh, steam boiler and that's no bueno. Step five is grooming and maintenance. So if you give it a quick twirl, you'll notice it should look like wet paint and be nice and glossy. That's the texture we're looking for. If you have any surface bubbles, you can tap it out, knock those out on the counter. And then the best definitive test of milk texture is going to be pouring that milk into your espresso. So here you're going to notice sharp contrast between the light and the dark, and it just pops right on top of the espresso. That's what you're looking for with the proper milk foam texture. Excuse the uh, wonky pour, but it's uh, difficult to pour with a camera in your face. And last but not least, let's take a look at milk waste. So take a look in your pitcher and see how much you have left. This will depend on how much you stretched your milk, but an ounce or so is an acceptable amount left. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me at Spermetheus.com. Follow me on Instagram at Spermetheus. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.